This is very important. Notice how what happens here. The Quraysh went to the Jews to, to think of a challenge to see if this prophet is true or false. The prophet, peace be upon him, told them, I will tell you tomorrow uh, the answer to these three questions because he sees Sayyidina Jibreel every day and he'll just ask him. Well, but Sayyidina Jibreel didn't come down for, for, for 15 days. So after day one, they, they told him, they started mocking him and started mocking the believers. So this story comes in. Well, what is this story? The story of Sayyidina Musa السلام, and Sayyidina Al-Khadr occurs because Musa السلام, was asked after giving a long speech on the history of the entire universe and what is to come. Okay? And back in those times, they were roaming in the desert and there was a lot of free time. Okay? There was very little to do and they were in that area of land where they weren't settled. So there were days in which Sayyidina Musa السلام, sat with the people and spoke to them for hours upon hours. And a man came to him and said, is there anyone more knowledgeable on the earth? And he said, no. I'm the most he, he was the most knowledgeable. And it was true that from the human beings, you could answer that. You know, from the human beings on this earth, there's no one more knowledgeable. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed him, well, there is someone more knowledgeable. Okay? And he's not even... Uh, a human who's going to teach you. I mean, I mean, it's not even an angel or anything. It's a human being. All right? Uh, just an abd. Okay? And his name was hidden to show, like, the humble state. Okay? Not, it's not like, oh, al-Khidr, then you could say, oh, it's an amazing uh, person. All right? But no, just abd. His description in the Quran is just abd. Just a slave. Just to show Musa, alayhi salam, well, there's always someone more knowledgeable. Okay? And to show him that what he should say is Allah Alam. Okay? So Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and isn't the, the Jews, this is their prophet. The Jews know the story. And this is our so why are they taking part in mocking the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he can't answer the questions for fifteen days? And they're laughing. And they say, see, he doesn't know. Well, the whole point was that he wasn't bringing this message from himself to begin with. So in fact, the fact that, number one, the fact that the Prophet, peace be upon him, couldn't answer them on the spot, shows them that he's not bringing this revelation from himself to begin with. Okay? If he was, he would be clever enough, okay, let me think, or I shouldn't say that phrase, but he should be, if, if it was a person who was making stuff up, he would be clever enough to think, well, let me just make something up and let me figure it out and let me go research it quickly. Not wait one day, and he's sitting doing nothing. They, they know he's not going to research. They know he didn't travel to 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 some uh, uh, for maybe a friendly rabbi or a Christian who knew the story. They knew there was no libraries. They see him every day, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, not going and not seeking knowledge, not seeking the, the knowledge, right? So that they this is a this is the proof that the knowledge isn't coming from him. And that doesn't belittle the Prophet at all, because in this, we know that the Prophet have the greatest intellects, the strongest intellects. But it's absurd to think that everyone knows everything. And the whole point of a Prophet is he's a messenger. He's a go-between, and of course he's beyond that, more than that. But the chief role is that he's not bringing something from himself, except by the permission of Allah. The chief message that he's bringing is from Allah Ta'ala. Okay, so he's a messenger. That's what a messenger means. So he didn't have the knowledge. That's the first thing. The second thing is, you're mocking the Prophet, peace be upon him, and you're the Jews. Well, your own Prophet, alayhi salam, as noble as the messengers are, didn't know everything. And here you have him learning from Abd. Learning from someone who was just Abd. There is no name was given. And not only that, having to become very humble in the process. And not like humble as in he wasn't humble, but the form in which he had to take this knowledge was a humbling form. Namely, he had to travel a long distance. And then once he got there, he was basically told, you're not allowed to ask any questions. And when he did ask questions, because he felt that he couldn't stand what he was seeing, he was expelled from his teacher. So subhanAllah, it's amazing that uh, that Allah Ta'ala knew, he knew, and he saw that these Yahud are now mocking the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay, well, wait a second. Your own Prophet as well that you're claiming to be loyal to and representing, he also didn't know. Right? There were things he didn't know.
All right, and this story comes to neutralize, okay, the uh, mockery of the Jews and make them realize, wait a second, we're what are we mocking? A prophet who doesn't know everything, and is it re is it even reasonable to think that a prophet should know everything? And here is your prophet didn't know everything. 